Hey Mermeco team, today we're diving into the world of one of the most fascinating and relentless ant species out there, Phaidole pallidula. If you love massive colonies, strategic foraging, and those iconic big-headed majors, then this species is for you. Phaidole pallidula is a true survival expert. You can find it almost anywhere that's warm and sunny. Mediterranean forests, scrublands, under rocks, inside dead wood, and even in urban areas where it sometimes invades houses. Their nests are mostly underground and don't follow any strict structure. And what makes them even more unique is that they're polydomous, meaning a single colony can spread across multiple nest sites, all interconnected. Now let's talk about size. This species may be small, but don't be fooled. Workers are only two millimeters, majors range from three to four millimeters, and the queen is about eight millimeters. But their true power lies in their numbers. A mature colony can easily reach 60,000 individuals, and in some extreme cases, over 200,000. And when it comes to behavior, they are lightning fast and aggressive. Phaidole pallidula doesn't waste time. Once they detect food, they launch an instant recruitment wave, and within minutes, a flood of workers swarms in to claim it. When the colony reaches about 20 workers, the first majors start appearing. At first, their role is simply to store food in their swollen abdomens, but soon they become essential for cutting up prey, transporting food, and defending the colony. These big-headed soldiers with powerful mandibles make Phaidole pallidula a dominant force in its environment. And speaking of food, well, they eat everything. Omnivorous and opportunistic, they'll devour insects, sugary substances, seeds, meat, whatever they can find. Now let's talk reproduction. The main swarming season runs from June to early August, usually in the evening, with massive mating flights that can last for several days. In captivity, colonies are typically monogen, meaning they have just one queen. However, in the wild, particularly in Corsica, cases of oligogeny have been observed, where multiple queens coexist in a single colony. All right, now let's move on to care and setup. The foundation phase is independent and claustral. The queen digs a chamber and raises the first generation all by herself, without eating. And unlike many other species that take months to develop, Phaidol pallidula reaches worker stage in under a month if kept in ideal conditions. For optimal conditions, aim for 22 to 28 degrees Celsius with 20 to 80% of the nest kept humid. But here's the catch, you need a secure setup. This species is an escape artist, they climb, squeeze through the tiniest gaps, and will exploit any weakness to break out. If you don't keep a close eye on them, you might end up with thousands of ants roaming freely in your room. And here's another fun fact, they're diggers. If they don't like their nest, they'll chew right through it. If you use materials that are too soft, like weak plaster or thin plastic, they will break out. So choose a strong, well-sealed nest and check for any damage regularly. Now, what about diapause? It's not strictly necessary, but it's highly recommended to extend the queen's lifespan. Starting from the second year, it's best to give them a mild diapause at 15 to 16 degrees Celsius for six to eight weeks, while still providing food. So is this an easy species to keep? Well, yes and no. In the beginning, they're a dream, hardy, fast growing, and easy to care for. But as the colony explodes in numbers, things get complicated. Managing a massive population, preventing escapes, and keeping up with constant food demands can be a real challenge. In short, Phaidole pallidula is an incredible species, but one that requires careful planning and discipline. One small mistake and you might have tens of thousands of ants on the loose. You've been warned. Let me know in the comments if you've ever kept this species or if you're thinking about trying. And as always, subscribe for more amazing ant videos and drop a like if you enjoyed this one. See you next time, Mimeko team.